located in downtown Freiburg. It's um, right on the intersection of uh, 113 and 302 by the monument, and we are open from 8 to 6. Uh, we've changed our hours a little bit. We used to be open extended on Thursday for an hour. Yeah. And we've, we've, this is a good time to, to talk about that. Um, in case somebody's coming out around uh, between 6 and 7. So we've um, we're decided to close at 6. Okay. So it's nice and simple, 8 to 6 um, from Monday through Saturday, and then on Sundays, 10 to 3. Great. And, I mean, like you say, it's located right in Freiburg in a beautiful building. It's just such a fabulous building. We've got some photos that are uh, playing in the background here. And uh, such a neat spot in yeah. there. And uh, also looking at these photos, the number of items that you have in there is unbelievable. Well, we try really hard to pack it in. In fact, we're kind of pushing the limits with packing it in. But um, we try to cover everything from, you know, cleaning to, I mean, obviously food, um, but also personal care products, uh, pet products, candles, incense, jars. Um, <laughs> You name it, whatever you need. We, we probably have it or can get it. That's awesome. And um, you also have uh, food there. Like I don't want to you have food, obviously, but uh, prepared food. Yeah, we do um, soup and sandwiches and some salads. And it's a growing process. You know, we have um, a lot of things in the works. So any day you come in, we have some staple things, but we also um, are inventing some new things. So it's kind of fun. And that kind of, yeah, gives you another reason to come back. Yeah. So Emily, you said sometimes you're in the kitchen. So are you inventing things in the kitchen? Yeah, I get to have some she fun is. with Kelly up there. Um, we have discovered butler soy curls, and they're a wonderful option if you're vegetarian or vegan, and they're also gluten-free. So all sorts of fun things, as well as baked goods. And one of the things that you just mentioned, the vegan and gluten-free, is that a lot of people are vegan and gluten-free and vegetarian mm -hmm. and everything else. Mm -hmm. But then there's always a question of, what do I eat? And uh, so you guys are a great source of finding out about that. And you were saying when you found out that, that you had some food allergies mm -hmm. that you were like overwhelmed, but yeah. then you found out you, you can have fun, you can eat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's always fun, you know, when you have that person that walks in that just found out, you know, oh my goodness, I'm lactose intolerant or I have celiacs and I don't know what to do. So it's always fun to help them find new things and um, focus on what they can have instead of what they can't and um, to see people taking care of themselves and, and owning their health, it's, it's, it's a good time. That's yeah. great, so the, the knowledge you have yeah. is uh, you're able to impart that to uh, others, people like me who would have absolutely no yeah. clue. <laughs> yeah. So I would just, I would be one of those, well, I can't eat this, but as you say, you're focusing on what you can what eat. You so can. That's yeah. awesome. And that's we have awesome. it. Yeah. And it, that, well, there's the, there's the better part, <laughs> so it's not only that. Yeah, you, can, you can't eat this, but we don't own it. No, that's a, <laughs> no, you have it all there and obvious by those shells. And you guys have also put together some suggested um, gift baskets mm -hmm. for the holidays. And, and you brought them in, and we're just, they're just taking them out. We're going, wow, look at all this stuff that you have. So let's explore some of these, because it's kind of fun. Hans is going to zoom in so, on some stuff, and we'll, uh, we'll look at that. Well, let's start with this one right here. And this one, you called it the, uh, the, queen, in the, uh, the queen in your life basket, <laughs> and a variety of stuff. And as you say, you can kind of pick and choose what's in these boats. Sure. But what are some of the items that you have here in this basket? Well, we have items for pampering. Um, this is actually a locally made rice pack by a, a young girl. Um, I'm not sure how old Sadie is. She's, she's very uh, an entrepreneurish. Um, and we have some teas, some bubble bath, chocolates, some soaps, and some oils for pampering the queen in your life. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, and the basket's useful. And the well. basket is useful. And I just noticed it was just bright yellow and everything else. So very, very cheerful here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just going to slide this off, and we'll slide another one in yeah. right here into our camera, <laughs> camera spot right here. So what do, we, what do we got in this one? Uh, this is kind of for your hot, the hot hottie of your life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got some hot sauces and delicious chili paste. These are local as well. We've got like Beast Feast. Um, this is a new Vermont hot sauce. This one comes out of Mass. And some local garlic. So a lot of local stuff, obviously. We, we try very hard to, um, to involve our local community. That's awesome. they're so talented. Oh, absolutely. So we have that. And then this one's kind of fun because we're kind of shifting pace a little here. Um, and this is for the guy. Just, just I like that. For the guy. Sums okay. it right up. Let and so uh, some of the things here, we have some uh, Grandy Oats. That looks uh, turmeric ginger cashews. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, those, that's a new product line by Grandy Oats, which is doing really well because it's delicious. They're so good. Um, and then we get, you know, toothpicks, we have Fisherman's Friend, some jerky, some shaving stuff. Oh, and we're breaking things here. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Fisherman's Friend, you know, it's, it's time of year for that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, so let's, uh, let's slide on over. These are, these are just kind of fun. And these are just suggestions. Suggestions, um, And yes. you can kind of make them as you want. Or probably if you have this one right, you make it just really easy. I'll take this, please. <laughs> and you can uh, make that happen here as I mess everything up here. Emily put this one together. Is, this is yeah. a nice one, Emily. What do, what do we got? It's very pink. We got the yellow. We got yeah. the pink. What do we got going on here? This is for, you know, your BFF, your girlfriend. Um, a fun little bag. It's got a little mermaid on it. We have a cute little green clay mask. This is a hot cocoa, but it's also, um, you know, you can put your pennies in there, dimes. I think this soap is a blast. It says, hey girl, hey on it. Um, some unicorn gum and just some candies on the side. And a little perfume, you know, nice. Just a nice for your little, friend. nice little package. Yeah. And so, as you said, you know, these could be uh, as a as a gift basket, or any of these items would make great stocking stuffers too. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, kind of a, a fun thing here. Let's slide the uh, the jars because that was an interesting one. Um, I've seen people walk around with with mason jars. You know, they they do their drinking out of mason jars and they unscrew the lid or whatever. But you get, you've made it even easier. So I don't even have to unscrew the lid because you've got. The, uh, the silicone lid, so you can put a straw right yeah. through there. Mm -hmm. Or this one I was thought was very cool. Look at this. So it, um, I don't know if I got that. Here we go. And uh, you, you can pop it up and you, like drink your coffee out of that. Right. Or whatever and beverage you have. It's not going to spill all over the place. Yeah. That's a, well, if not spilling. Is it? Well, I don't want to say we are. <laughs> and uh, this is something, probably a lot of people are going, what is that? <laughs> Well, that one's actually a smoothie straw. It's a little uh, wider in diameter. But it's a metal straw. But we also have the metal straws that have like a little kink in it for drinking. Yeah. So you can use that. And for as, cleaning. As, and reuse. Yeah. And reuse it. Mm -hmm. um, and straw waste is actually, an, I read the number the other day, an unbelievable amount of straws that are mm -hmm. wasted and thrown away every day. And then, but you go like, yeah, but how do I clean my straw? <laughs> well, you have your straw <laughs> cleaning thing. <laughs> and uh, I mean, because that would be the thing that I think I would be first concerned about. It's like, what's inside? Oh, smoothie from two weeks ago. Right. Uh, but no, you've got your um, uh, classic uh, drink straw cleaning brush. And the other thing too that I'm noticing, everything here is reasonably priced. It's, you know, you'd think, oh, well, it's a specialty cleaner. So, you know, we're going to charge you 40 bucks for the, this, right. but you're not. Which is great. So some some neat things. There's another uh, another jar lid so right there. So you can get enough for two friends. There you go. And this, <laughs> I love the straw thing. That's a great idea. All right, let's uh, let's bring some more stuff over. This is fun. I'm doing <laughs> this. This is great. So uh, some hiker stuff, what which is get? appropriate for this area for sure. And uh, various hiking snacks, Energy Plus uh, honey candy. This um, is a new cool little product. It's coffee in a bar. So instead of having a cup of coffee, it has coffee in it. So it's enough for, I think, uh, maybe one cup or one and a half cups of coffee. Wow. Uh, we have chunks of energy, which we bag, which are extremely popular. They're, it's raw um, nuts and, and dried fruits. Um, here's a vegan jerky. This is a, a cool new product made in Maine, and it's you just add water. It's called Good To Go. And they're delicious. And it's Thai and curry. Yeah, we have a different uh, flavors and throw them in your backpack. And when you're going camping, there's, there's your meals all one, two, three. That's awesome. And I also, you've used these as uh, the little markers. And they're wooden, wooden uh, utensils. Yeah, that's what we give to our customers if, when they're eating in-house. Nice. Or if they've taken it to go. Right, absolutely. All right, we got a couple more we're going to share here. And uh, what, uh, this, this one, we've got to pull some stuff out. We've got, uh, what is an aroma diffuser? This is you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you can do is you can put your, whatever you're using for your essential oil in, and you can hang this up in the window, and um, the heat will help the smell permeate throughout your home. Oh, nice. And, it's, um, and they're really, really lovely. You know, they're cute. Um, the other things we have in here, we have some happy hippie soap made by Humane Nature. Uh, this is our hippie, hippie, hippie bag. Oh, yeah, the hippie bag. Okay, the hippie, hippie bag. bag. <laughs> notice the notice the bag. That's right. <laughs> by Blue Q. Um, and then this could be, you know, we just grabbed some essential oils, bottled bouquet. We thought would be a nice smell, and um, we have some hemp chapstick. So that's a vegan chapstick, and um, some candles in there. So yeah, for the hippie in your life. Fun right. little 
fun little bag. All right. Mm -hmm. I have to find a hippie. Yeah, <laughs> a happy and, hippie. And a happy hippie. And then we got the last one here. Uh, and uh, so this one is, uh, I'm assuming it's vegan. It looks like a Y. So I, I thought yeah. vegan would be kind of fun <laughs> too, for the vegan in your life. Yeah. So, uh, what, so what is here for the vegan in my life? Uh, well, we have this product. This is awesome. This is the vegan egg, and it comes in like a little egg carton. And what's lovely is you can scramble this. You can use it in baking. You can make omelets with it. Whatever you do with an egg, you can do with vegan Great. egg. Great. And it's a really lovely product. We also have some vegan jerky. Um, it can be hard to find soaps and lotions if you're a vegan. Yeah. So um, Nubian is cruelty free, and Dr. Bronner's here as well. Um, some vegan candies, which are delicious: candy cane, candy cane pop, Bobo's bites. We started carrying; those are scrumptious. And um, another thing that can be hard is like a fruit roll-up or licorice yeah. to be vegan, because a lot of those products use gelatin. Well, these are lovely because they have no gelatin in them. Very there cool. Go. So there is quite a variety of stuff here. Yeah. That uh, that perhaps a lot of people are going, oh, you can only eat one thing if you're vegan, but that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a lot here. <laughs> it's not just grass. <laughs> you can eat candy. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So and all of this stuff. I mean, this this would fill a store in itself, but this is just a a handful of the stuff mm -hmm. you have there. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a variety of things and. Something for everybody. Well, that's great. So great stocking stuffers, great gift baskets. And then uh, um, heading into the new year, what do you got planned for the new year? Oh, well, we have a, a few cool things coming up, um, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell you what they are just yet. Okay, all right. I have to polish them up a little bit first. All right, but then you'll but be back. Cool and you'll, you'll, you'll be back, there. and you'll tell because usually you you have some different uh, activities and events that yeah. come up there at Spice and Grain. So oh, we do the film festival in the spring, right? But uh, we haven't decided exactly which films yet, and we had such great luck last year. We're going to kind of explode that a little bit, but we have a couple other little things coming up too. That's great. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks so much for coming by today Thank you. and uh, really kind of broadening uh, our horizons on all the things that are available there at Spice and Grain. So located right in downtown Freiburg Village. Mm -hmm. Can't miss it. And you said 8 to 6 every day? 8 to 6. 8 yeah. to 6, except for Sunday, so, right. which is 10 to 3. 10 to 3. So, uh, so you'll, you'll have time to get back and open up. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect today. So again, thanks so much for coming by, Kelly, Emily. And uh, we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.